Porsche's 911 might be the ultimate automotive yes man. You want rear wheel drive? Sure thing. All wheel drive? Yup. Little more power? Uh huh. Lots more? Oh yeah. Lots more and then still a little bit more? You betcha. Maybe you want a whole shipping container full of power but no turbos in sight? We can do that. Or never mind power. How about a coupe? But of course. Convertible? J. A. Crazy complicated top that kind of just amounts to a huge sunroof? Of course. All of those variations might confuse the issue, but each of them is a different take on excellence. Take the 911 GTS Cabriolet tested here. It's not entirely unfair to view the GTS as an elaborate option package, albeit one composed of some parts that are otherwise unavailable on the regular Carrera S. It starts with the body of the all-wheel drive 911 Carrera 4, which is 1.7 inches broader than the rear drive shell. Then toss in the PASM Sport suspension and satin black 20-inch center lock wheels from the Turbo S. The latter are wider than the Carrera S's by a half inch both front, 9.0 inches, and rear, 12.0. Now fit bigger turbos pumping an extra 2.1 psi into the intake, 18.1 compared with 16.0 on the Carrera S and 13.1 on the base Carrera, netting 450 horsepower at 6,500 rpm and 405 lbft of torque from 2,150 to 5,000. Make it loud with the Sport exhaust, and toss in the Sport Chrono package, which includes a nifty stopwatch atop the dash and dynamic engine mounts that firm up under aggressive driving to better control the powertrain's mass. Then dress it all up with black trim, badging, and exhaust finishers, plus dark tinted tail light lenses. It's at least $20,000 in extras compared with the Carrera S and costs not quite $16,000 more $132,350 to the Carrera S Cabrio's $116,750.